The transpose function lets you shift notes up and down either in octaves or in semitones. Here I've put a passage in the key of A. Let's say I'd like it to be an octave higher. I can select one, an octave here, and press OK. And now when I press play, it plays an octave higher. As you can see, there are plus and minus values, and you'll want to be careful with this one if it's set to octaves because you can really transpose a lot. It might go right out of the range of the MIDI instrument. You can also transpose in semitones by selecting semitones. And let's, for example, go down by three half steps. And you can see the note shift. And like with other MIDI editing windows, the all and selection buttons are available if you've selected a couple of notes to edit. Keep in mind that if you don't have any specific notes selected, this will be grayed out because Mixcraft assumes that you want to affect all the notes in the clip. The next MIDI editing function is Velocities. Velocities is used to add or subtract MIDI note velocity, and it can be done either by percent or in units. If we set it to percent with this pop-up menu over here, we can adjust between 10% and 200%. Velocities can be modified either by percentage or by units. To give you an idea of how this works, if I set this to 50%, then all the notes will become half as loud. If I put 100% into this field, nothing happens. And if I enter a value of 200% into this field, everything becomes twice as loud. Keep in mind, though, that some note values may just hit the top of the scale, which is 127, so they won't go any further than that. You can also adjust the MIDI velocity in units, and this will simply add or subtract a given number to the existing velocity. So, for example, if I have 25 in here, 25 gets added to every velocity. You can also subtract velocity by typing a negative number. Here I'll put in negative 60. And you'll see the volume drops by 60. You can also make all the notes the exact same velocity value by clicking the Force 2 button and entering a number right here. Let's say I want everything to be really loud. I'll put in 120 and press OK, and you'll see all these are 120. This is often useful for electronic drum parts where you want everything to be maxed out. You can also select a Force 2 value with this pop-up menu over here. The MIDI editing offsets function simply shifts notes to the right or the left in the grid. Over here we can select whether notes are shifted to the left or the right, and then we can set the value of how much they get shifted by right here. So let's select quarter notes for example, and I'll say by one quarter note, and I'll click OK, and you can see everything moves over by a quarter note. Conversely, we can move it back by selecting left up here, and we'll move it back a quarter note. Soloize forces notes to play one note at a time. In other words, it automatically removes overlaps when the intention is to have a one note at a time solo instrumental passage. Here I've played a trumpet solo, and you can see right here, notes are overlapping a lot, and it sounds like this. If we're trying to recreate the sound of a solo wind instrument, it's physically impossible to play more than one note at a time. So using the soloize function, you'll see all those overlaps will disappear. So let's listen to what this sounds like. Now we have a true monophonic performance that sounds much more realistic. The double function simply makes a copy of the clip and puts it right next to the existing one. So if I press double, you'll see my piano will expand to twice its length, and the exact same notes are duplicated. Select by velocity isn't actually a MIDI editing parameter. It doesn't actually do anything to the notes, but it does let you select notes by their velocity, which can be really handy if you have a whole bunch of loud or quiet notes that you'd like to select quickly. When I click on it, you can see I have a range here, and this is the lowest velocity and the highest velocity that will be selected. So, for example, I've got these notes over here, which are played very quietly, and then I've got these over here, which were played very loud. So if I set the lowest note in the range to, say, 70, and the highest note to 127, now it'll select only notes between 70 and 127. So you can see when I press OK, these loud notes get selected. Conversely, I can select quiet notes by setting these to a low range, such as, say, 0 to 30. You can see these notes right here get selected because they're played very quietly. 
If I click the Add Notes to Currently Selected Notes box, this means that any notes that are already selected in the clip won't get deselected once I hit the OK button. Select by Duration is similar to Select by Velocity, but it uses the Length Notes as a criteria for selection. And you can see here that there are a number of criteria including Less Than, Greater Than, Equal To, or combinations thereof. So let's say that, for example, I want to select Long Notes. I'm going to choose Half Notes and Greater Than. And the percentage parameter over here lets you select a range near the note value. So what we're saying here is any notes within 30% greater or less than a half note will be selected. So if I press OK, you'll see these guys over here get selected. And this also works in reverse if you want to select notes that are short by selecting less than. And you can see these guys get selected. And you can also select notes only of an exact value by pressing equal to. And if you want it to be the exact value, you could put 0% for your variation, and now we'll only select half notes only, or whatever note value is selected over here. And like with Select by Velocity, we can check this box if we have notes already selected, and you want to add your selection to the currently selected notes.